Alright, we just have one world left tonight. K rules keep. Well, 1.2, basically. <laughs> Hello, Dusk. Nice to see you as well. Oh, we. It says we only have 75%, but we can get a bunch of that just by going to Wrinkly's. Anyhow, activate the hard mode cheat, and we'll finish this off. The end of the game is pretty awesome. Definitely difficult, but very well done levels on the whole. With one or two exceptions. Anyhow, we're here in K. Rules Keep. We finished Arctic Abyss. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to Cranky's Hut to do more DK Donkey Kong Country Derby. Don't you ever knock? I know you're desperate for help, but remember your manners next time. Enough talk. Let's see your coins. Power up Espresso. Let's max out his boost, because why not? This way we have more time for people to trickle in. Speaking of which, welcome, Mobius. We have Flicky. What are you doing outside of Sonic? Aftershock, that's a pretty cool name. Ozzy, and then Espresso. All right, we got Fozzie Bear and Flicky to watch out for. This is where the races actually start getting kind of hard. If memory serves. A lot of boost panels, though, so this is good. Uh oh, did I really miss that boost? I did. N are there no feathers? Oh, there is one. There are feathers up there. Pfft. Who wants those? Who will be the ultimate chicken racer? It's gonna be Artie! This is actually a short race, considering it's, like, one of the last races. We We finished first! Hello, Mr. Pop-Tarts! Welcome, welcome! Nice to see ya. Oh, Mobius, please, tell me what idea you have. First place! Well done! Get first on all the races! I, I will do my best. Nice to see the Bean Lord in my Twitch chat. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. It's going to be a fun stream. All right. Now we don't have nearly enough Krem coins to go to the Lost World. We're going to have to do that after we beat the main game. But we're off to Castle Crush. The first of the uh, castle levels. And it is a bit of an auto score, which I don't really like. But it's got awesome... Theming, great atmosphere, and there are parts where you can actually go forward, which is nice. It's kind of like Trick Track Trek from the first game. Alright, first up, kill him so we can get Rambi. Ooh, yeah, we, we could do a gaming stream. Hmm... Gaming streaming night multiplayer, I am a little hesitant to do that, because I know I try to stay family-friendly, and I know a lot of people just naturally don't do that. It's nothing against any of them, it's just I personally don't like asking people, like, okay, you're not allowed to swear, because I know, you know, sometimes stuff so slips out. Having said that, though, I do miss the Amana sessions as well, so we should, we should get one of those going. And I'm definitely not opposed to the idea of a Friday uh, gaming night slash streaming night. <laughs> That's true, I don't have to stream. Yeah, this is this is definitely a toughie of a level. The castle levels are all pretty tough. I would say it's the easiest of the uh, castle levels, though. Castle Crush. It's actually one of the few examples of an auto-score I'd say kind of done right, because it gives you plenty of time to know when stuff is coming. And on top of which, there are moments where you actually can genuinely get a head start and you don't have to wait around for this. Alright. I don't like this bonus barrel, though. You have to be very fast on that. Whoosh! Um, what is F and F? Wow. 
Welcome, Marty. <laughs> oh, you just watched Hunchback. Interesting. Definitely an, an interesting Disney movie. <laughs> Welcome to the Donkey Kong Country stream. Man, we got a really good crowd tonight. This is awesome. Oh, Friday Night Funkin'. I've heard of that before. When it, can't tell you what it's about, though. Oh no, we lost a Squawks. Yeah, we have to get a head start there so we can get that DK coin. Alright, at least we still have Dixie Cone with her hairdo. That's good. Ah, it's a rhythm game. Oh, nice! I didn't know there really was modding communities for rhythm games, but I... <laughs> that's really cool. I'm, I'm always here to encourage people doing cool stuff. Game mods are pretty awesome. In fact, some of them, like <laughs> Mega Man Rock Force, actually better than any of the official games. <sighs> okay, that that's a boring bonus barrel right there. <laughs> Considering it's this late in the game, that's a pretty boring bonus barrel. Also, <laughs> don't miss the feather. Oof. I do not envy that porcupine. All right, now we just have to not suck. <laughs> oh, Marty, you you're back to the old college food now. I'm sorry. College food was kind of fun at first. <laughs> Did I mention that adding sound effects that people can play to my Twitch chat was like the best decision I ever made as a streamer? Because it was. <laughs> yeah, college food, like, for the first year, I'm like, this is kind of cool. And then after that, I'm like, oh, huh, college food. Okay. I love how we're capped on coins and lives. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Oh! <laughs> Dixie Calm. <laughs> that was a, that was that was like a Star Wars Episode Four trash compactor thing right there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Freepio, for saving me. <laughs> Man, this course is a lot longer than I remember. And you know what the worst part is? If we die, we have to do it all again. Oh no. No bonus for me. That's fine. <laughs> hey, you can do a lot of stuff with ramen noodles. I'm not really a fan of them myself, but... I see the value. Quite literally, you can buy them for cents. Alright, off to Clapper's Cavern. Possibly the easiest... Okay. As I was saying, possibly one of the easiest levels in K Rules Keep. Once you know how once you know how to duck. <laughs> Quack. Find the creme coin. Oh no. <laughs> Inclines. <laughs> how dangerous. And they just kind of lump all of the collectible stuff at the beginning. It's like, as long as you have both your columns, boom. Whoosh! Hey, everyone's favorite seal is back again. Yeah, once you know you can duck and slide with the ice, the level gets a lot easier. Also, watch out for Snapjaw. Yeah, you gotta know that you can duck under there. Hey, on guard. Also, there are two cameras on this course. Ooh, you got all the humongous entertainment games? Nice! Those games are classics. I 
Excuse me, I would like that picture, please. Boom. Oh no, I have to talk in a weird voice for a minute. Great. <laughs> well, I guess I'll do my Kermit the Frog voice here. Oh great, we have to use Ongard to get to the bottom. Oh, this is not very good. Alright, we'll just ditch Ongard and grab the coin for ourselves. Alright, so now we have to continue through Clapper's Cavern. Oh no, because we abandoned Ungard, we uh, we don't actually get the prize at the end. It's okay, it was probably just a coin. Also, this part here is pretty mean. You just... Oh wait, no, this... What the heck? <laughs> well, that was some weird physics. <laughs> One part up ahead, you have to literally jump in icy water, which is deadly in every other situation. But in, for some reason... Oh no! <laughs> I guess he wasn't very happy to have me jump on his head right there. Yikes! <laughs> Alright, I guess we can show off the b other part of the beginning of the course, since we skipped it the first time around. This time we, we're going to try to spell calm. Spelling is very important, kids. <laughs> Once you get a job, you'll be asked to spell words all the time. <laughs> like, you can just get a job, like, being like, hey, spell precipitate. And if you don't know how to do it, then they fire you. That's sarcasm, by the way. It's hard to do sarcasm with a Kermit the Frog voice. <laughs> you know, I, I don't really plan in advance what, what voices to do during these situations, so uh, I just kind of do whatever comes to mind. Alright, I think a minute's up. That This has been Artie's terrible Kermit the Frog voice. Oh, no. I gotta spell calm. I gotta spell calm. Uh, yeah, this part right here. There's a camera down there. Yep. And if I want 100%, which I do, I gotta grab it. <laughs> Maybe there's an invincibility barrel somewhere. I actually forget. Weesh, weesh, boink. I forget, did I add another... Extark on it. I need to stop being so greedy. Did I add another, like, channel points reward that costs, like, a bunch of points? I know that the sound effects are really cheap. And the weird voice for a while was, like, the only one that costed, like, quadruple digits. I think I added a new one, maybe? Possibly? I definitely had an idea for adding one. Ah, yes! There was a new one! Artie shares words of wisdom. That's right. I knew I had done something, I just forgot what it was. Give us... Alright. <laughs> this is another case of I probably should have prepared in advance some words of wisdom. Um, Alright. So just what comes to mind, go for life with an open palm. You know, learn to let things go as easily as they come, and that way, you'll be able to take the struggles of life a lot more easily than you would before. Like, if, if, if you go for life just grabbing hold of everything and refusing to let go, it's going to lead to a lot of pain when eventually you're forced to let it go. But if you learn that, hey, stuff in life comes and goes, you'll be able to accept it a little more easily. Darn it. <laughs> Another word of wisdom. Don't touch porcupine spikes. I know it's probably tempting to see, hey, are these, are these actually that spiky? Don't do it. It's gonna hurt. That, so I gave you general words of wisdom and then specific words of wisdom. There you go. Two for one. <laughs> oh, darn. I always do that. I'm like, I gotta hurt. Oh, man. That guy got so angry, he literally is burning red, so that when I touched him, it actually physically hurt. Damn. Bro. Why, why are you so angry, bro? It's just a game. Alright, I... Don't you love how I'm like, oh man, Castle Crush, these are the castle levels that are really hard beat it on the first try, then my like, Clapper's Cavern, probably one of the easiest levels in K. Rules Keep, and now I'm dying to this, like, a bunch. I think the reason for that is... <laughs> The easier levels, I'm overconfident, and thus I'm like, oh, I can do these speedrun strats, and then I screw up. Not because the level's hard, but because I'm just recklessly overconfident. 
Boink, boink, boink. No point in grabbing the G. Boom, 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 boom. Buzz, buzz. Alright, there we go. Oh, your B problem is gone. Excellent. <laughs> oh, nice! Marty, what the world definitely needs is more humongous entertainment content. That well, People people eat it up. Alright, we don't have to go to Kong College. We're already smart. I already got my bachelor's degree. Terminator took care of him. It's time for probably my least favorite level in the world. It's the one... The only Windy Well. I do not like this level. I don't like wind physics in general, but... Oof, the wind physics on this level in particular are really bad. Alright. Thankfully, the Fever is easy. Once again, like on Gusty Glades, sometimes the wind will blow you upwards, sometimes it won't. It's all dependent on where your position is, and there's no visual indication of that it's going to actually rise up. <laughs> oh, also, there are a bunch of green cutlasses on this level, who are a huge pain in the butt to take out for the most part. <laughs> Correct, I don't like the Super Mario Lost Levels wind. Also, it's it's remarkably easy to miss out on bonus barrels on this level. May have already missed one. We'll see. Also, be careful jumping willy-nilly, because sometimes you can jump, and wind will catch you, and then you can't do anything else on the ground. K.O. Not to mention, dodging those hooks is not fun. There we go. It's bonus barrel time, Woody. Destroy them all! Yes, yes, Master. <laughs> I will do whatever you say. Good. Good. <laughs> Execute Order 66. <laughs> oh, that could be a good sound effect for my channel. Oh, no! Green Cutlass killed me. That's okay, I knew I was going to die on that level. <laughs> they haven't gotten up to Order 69 yet. <laughs> Eventually. Oh my gosh, if you hold up, you'll fly up faster. That's a game changer. How did I not know this? Oh my gosh, that makes the level so much better. Still annoying, but less so. Wow, I literally never knew that. Now granted, for parts like this, you don't want to hold up. Also, you gotta really get close to the bees. <laughs> if you streamed all of Happy Fun Sub, would I watch? I mean, if I wasn't doing any- if I didn't have any other plans at the time, you betcha I would. Like, obviously, if you stream at a time where it's like, well, I'm at work, so I really can't. But if not, heck yeah, I would do that. Uh-oh. Whoosh! You don't know how to stream? You can stream directly to YouTube. Like, you don't need to stream to Twitch. It's an option. And honestly... I have thought about doing YouTube stream. I've done both. There are parts of YouTube streaming that I like and parts of Twitch streaming that I like. Whoosh. Alright. I know there's another bonus barrel in this level. It might be at the very end. Okay. 
Hey! Oh yeah, that's the problem with these cutlasses. They they plant their swords in the ground and then they can just immediately take them out again. Oh, that's how you avoid the hooks, is by just flying up faster. Oh. Oh ho ho! Yeah! Okay. Last bonus barrel I remember. It's at the end. Question... Oh my gosh, yeah, being able to fly up faster is... Mm, definitely helps out in this level. Those sound effects help me go faster. True story, bro. I thought, I thought you just flew up faster in the SNES version, because I've seen speedruns of the SNES version, and I'm like, man, it seems like they're flying up faster than in the GBA version. I thought it was just a version difference. Um, well, that's, <laughs> that's uh, a disconcerting sign. No squawks allowed. I did not see any squawks. Oh, no. Yeah, see, that's, that's part of the problem with this level. The wind is entirely dependent on your physical location, and sometimes, like, oh, wind just stops, you fall. Okay. Okay. We gotta do this right. This for a loaf of bread? So this is gonna be tricky. Gotta land on the clobber, take out the cutlass, boom. That's a tricky bonus barrel to reach. Collect the stars! Oh boy. Oh, this is where Squawks is. So it's gonna plant us out and then... That makes sense? Thanks, Squawks. You're a pal. Oh, thanks for a one-up that I literally can't hold. Ah, yeah, I spelled Og. I'm the best. <laughs> the clobber's just so excited to see us. <laughs> Alright, that's Windy Well. Now, now the levels get really tough, starting with Chain Link Chamber. Now, honestly, this level's not going to be much harder than it was the first time I ever played it, because the first time I ever played it, I never found the uh, checkpoint barrel. <laughs> You just realized this is Donkey Kong Country 2? What did you think I was playing? <laughs> just, just out of curiosity. There we go. Thank you for the photo. I already lost Dixie Kong, so this is off to just a great start. Yeah, that's right. I knew you were hiding a cannonball. I knew you were hiding a cow. Find the creme coin. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, chain climbing in this level. All right, we can either go by way of hook or by way of gyroscopic launch barrels. Let's try the gyroscopic launch barrels. Oh no. Rotating barrels, my greatest weakness. K.O. Yeah. Checkpoint barrel is normally right here, but on my first playthrough, I always just climb straight up. Yeah, I know what's that way. That way, a bunch of cannons are going to launch cannonballs at me from above. I'd much rather take that way. <laughs> Not today, Zerg. Okay, I believe you. Oh no. No we <laughs> Dixie Diddy Kong turned around, his butt hit a cannonball, and then he died. And that's exactly what happened. 
incoming team. Oh, you think I, you think I'm salty now? Oh no. <laughs> ah, dog on it. <laughs> Once again, most of my deaths come from me being like, I'm gonna take the level super fast. All right, let's go by way. Well, that didn't last very long. <laughs> Oh, you thought this was the first Donkey Kong Country, but then, no Donkey Kong! Yeah, it is amusing that Donkey Kong is only actually a playable character in the first Donkey Kong Country. The other two, nope, he's just a plot accessory. Especially in 3. In 3, he literally doesn't show up until the absolute last possible second. Along with Diddy Kong! <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like, I thought I was gonna play as Donkey Kong in Donkey Kong Country. Oh no, you're playing as Diddy's girlfriend and, um, a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Donkey Kong Country Free. I actually like Donkey Kong Country Free. I just think it's one of the weakest of the DK games. Darn it. I do like it a bit more than Returns, but Tropical Freeze beats it out. All right. Oh wait, no, never mind. It's just Neki. Oh. Oh wait, what? That bird was not there when I went up the right path. Aww. That's okay. We're still making great time. Oh no, but I don't have 99 lives anymore. That's okay. We still haven't done bonus bonanza for this world. I at least like how in the GBA version you can climb, you grab onto the horizontal ropes when you jump into them and not when you fall down. So it makes climbing up on these levels a lot faster. Do, 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 do. Okay. Climbing up is easy. Just watch out for the bird here. All right. Okay. Of course you can climb through solid brick. Why wouldn't you be allowed to do that? Of course you can climb through solid brick. Why wouldn't you be allowed to do that? <laughs> yeah, good luck finding either of those if you don't use Cranky Kong's hints. It's just not gonna happen. Oh boy, gyroscopic launch barrels. I actually kind of like the gyroscopic launch barrels. They're fun to use. I don't like the ones that rotate automatically without your input. All right. Yep, bees. It's just like a Kingdom Hearts game. Oh. Alright, now I gotta wait for the bees to come back. Dixie Kong proceeds to blow bubbles with her bubblegum. Dixie Kong's literally, like, in a dungeon of death and torture, and she's just, like, nonchalantly chewing bubblegum. He stole one of my lives. What a crud butt. Oh good, I spelled... Mm. Dang, Dixie is winning all of these levels. Nice job, Dixie. Proud of you, girl. Was that everything? Yep. Alrighty. Oh boy, off to Funky's Flights 2, because guess what? Everyone got call napped again. Jump in my jet and jive, Clive! Back again! Ready to hit the skies again? Call napped 2! The cons have been out exploring, but they got themselves trapped again! Go and rescue them! Raise them over the water level using the buttons mounted on the walls! I didn't have time to fill her up! You only have three minutes of flying time! Oh, great. Now we gotta save Tiny Calm clones again. But this time it's even worse. Because everyone's favorite video game gimmick ever, water level changing, has come back. Also, Tiny Calm makes Diddy Calm noises. Not sure why that is. Ahem. 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 Will you please just drop off time? Wow, it's not dropping off tiny. Do I have to grab all of them? 
I thought it was... I thought, oh, I have to grab them all before rep. Okay, that... Alright. I can deal with that. That's exactly the opposite of how it worked in the previous call napped uh, mission. Just saying. Uh-oh, we're about to drown. Okay, I hope Tiny Kong can breathe underwater. Because I sure can't. These courses are uh, slightly lacking in originality. There are a lot of repeat missions. Oh, yay. Air. Okay, now we found them all. Now we can go back to start. And we have a minute to do so. All right. <laughs> Got our work cut out for us. How come we lost all that air that we... That's very weird. We, we, we touch a bubble while underwater, and it's like, oh, boy, here, have 60 seconds of air. We literally go above water, and then it's like, oh, you're back down to 10 seconds. Also, it's amazing that the helicopter can fly underwater. Okay, there we go. We found all, like, six Tiny Kong clones. Wonderful. <laughs> I owe it all to you, Marty, for the lively crowd. Well done, guys! Take this as your reward! Alright, thanks, Funky. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Exactly. All right. Last level of K. Rules Keep. Toxic Tower. This is a tough one if you're unprepared. Thankfully, it's a little easier in the GBA version because Rattly is so much easier to use. Like, I seriously can't emphasize just how e much easier Rattly is to use in the GBA version. Well, that's not good. All right. We dead. <laughs> he, he charges his super jump a bit faster. I mean, you're still gonna die on the course. There's, no, I mean, there's not much you can do about that. But yeah, don't don't touch the acid. It's it burns. Hope you know how to take this level fast as well, because you do need to beat that, uh, acid. But it's okay, the level gets easier as you go on. The beginning part is arguably the toughest. Alright, now we're squawks, and now the level gets a little bit easier. Because we can fly fast! And get a big head... We can get ahead a of the toxic goop pretty easy. Dug on it. Looks like Dixie Collins winning this level too! There's been a decided lack of Diddy Collins boombox this level. Uh... Wow, magic! The gathering. You want to play Magic the Gathering? No, oh, what? How did all of those bird nuts slash eggs miss the zener? Really? <laughs> Darn it. The Knuckles rap music is the only thing that makes the, those treasure hunting levels bearable. Let's be realistic. If, if it just had generic instrumental music playing on those treasure hunt levels, everyone would hate them.
That's why Death Chamber is the worst of those levels, because there's barely any lyrics. It's just Death Chamber, Death Chamber. <laughs> Anyhow, back to Magic the Gathering. That's one of those games I bet I'd get really into if I actually played it, because I do I am a huge fan of like deck building card games. It was just one of those things that like I'm like <laughs> I've gone so long without ever actually playing it. I don't think I really need to. I'll stick with Dominion and Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. <laughs> those are both really fun. You can play Dominion if you want a competitive game, and you can play Harry Potter if you want a cooperative game. Ahem. Wow! Dane Squawks, how are you missing with all of these nuts? That's ridiculous. How did every single nut miss the bee? <laughs> the bees are nothing to fear. I should do the Gilbert Gottfried voice for the bird. Oh, I'm sorry there! I accidentally missed the bee with all my nuts! Is that okay, Jafar? <laughs> Most of you guys know Gilbert Gottfried as the parrot from Aladdin, but did you know Gilbert Gottfried was also the bird from Cyber Chase? Basically the same character, except one is a bad guy and the other is a good guy. Actually, oh man, actually... Bird. Actually, it just occurred to me, both of those birds started out as bad guys and became good guys. Alright. Thank you for finally hitting your mark. Darn it. Again, I'm just over-eager. <laughs> I have such a head start. I don't... I don't... I can take this a bit slow. Alright, here we go. Shoot him, get the camera, get the only bonus barrel. Here we go. Find the creme coin. And guess what? It takes us randomly to another bramble level. Why are all of the bonus barrels bramble levels? I don't understand. It's like, every oh, everyone loves the bramble levels. We need more of them. It's like, we really don't. The bramble levels suck. And there we go. That's not many... Oh, wait, nope, nope. We'll get enough creme coins. Ha boom! Yeah, Dixie Cone literally was the one who completed every single level in this world. Every single one. <laughs> Alright. Time for the final bonus bonanza! It's great to see you back! I wish you could win everything! I really do! K Rules Quiz. What is the name of this area of the island? K rule <laughs> The K Rappy Keep. Real nice. Okay, try this one. What is the name of the old man calling who keeps a racing bird? <laughs> Beardy. No, cranky. Okay, try this one. Which of these enemies also appeared in Donkey Kong Country? Zener the Wasp. See you next week! Free out of free, you're pretty good at this. The Castle Challenge. What is the name of the castle level of the rising floor? Castle Crush. That's what I'm looking for! Next one, please! How many animal buddies can you ride in the game? You can ride Rambi, Rattly, Squitter, Ungard, Squawks. There's also Espresso and Clapper and Glimmer, but you can't ride them. So, five. Good answer! Here we go again! What is the name of the flying ghost who throws objects at you? Cloak. Blackjack, it's a great name, though. You've been great contestants. Well done, you got them all right. All right, Big 8 Bounty, last one. We got this. What is your spider buddy's name? Squitter, although Eight Eyes is a good one. Well done, let's have another. How many desks are there in the Cone College? I checked earlier, it's five. Yes, let's play on. How many different baddies do you think there are in the game? 
go for the middle amount. I hope we'll uh, I hope we'll see you back next week. Alright, the little monkey is a winner! Well done, you've cleared me out! The only fit I have left is this exciting thing about winning, it's when you win. I love that feeling. Me too. <laughs> the only fit I have left is this tatty old photo, you may as well have it. See you next week! Thank you. Alright, time for Stronghold Showdown. This level is exclusive to the GBA version. SNES version, you just go to the next world, but here... <laughs> you didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Let's see if you can get past Kerosene! GBA exclusive boss time! It's Kerosene. First, we gotta take out two of these cleavers, and I did a bad job of that. I did that in the wrong order. You want to take out that one first, and then this one. <laughs> Diddy's like, oh boy! Giant croc trying to kill me! I'll just juggle my balls. Avoid the fiery sprays. And then just hit him with cannonballs. Oh no, he shocked me! Man, he loves starting on that side, doesn't he? What?! But I jumped on his hand! Who's Buff Wizard? Buff Wizard is Kirazine. A, a boss that they added exclusively for the GBA version. You didn't figure it would be that easy, did you? Have I heard of the Jiggies of Time? I have not. Is that a Banjo-Kazooie hack? Because <laughs> Jiggies are that the collectible from Banjo-Kazooie. Or is it like Ocarina of Time meets Banjo, maybe? That's probably what it is. Interesting! Yeah, maybe I'll give that a look-see. It sounds promising. I love Banjo, I love Ocarina of Time. If you hang out on the edge here, you'll be safe from his fire, unless you're stupid. And now we can hang out on the, his hands. He Does he always... He does not always start with the left, by the way. We're just getting very um, lucky that way. Oh, maybe he just always starts on the side that's closest to you. Ouch. Once again, Dixie Cone is going to win everything. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, yeah, he must he must blow fire starting on the side that you're closest to. Alright, one more ought to do it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Alright, now jump on his hands. Or you'll regret it. Bye, Kirazine. Well done! I sure didn't expect that! Go to K. Rool's airship and rescue DK! <laughs> yes, sir. Alright, time for the final world, the Flying Croc. No, it's not a croc. Alright, last level, Screech's Sprint. And guess what? It's a Bramble level. Alright, avoid the Cat Peacock. Oh boy, a TNT barrel! Hi, guys! <laughs> This is a very weird last level. Those enemies still kind of freak me out. A peacock should not sound like a cat. Tricky bonus barrel to reach, but here we go. Gotta find the cram coin. Oh, that's right. 
we need Dixie Cone for this. That crate is originally a DK Buddy Barrel. And there we go! And now the level begins for real. No checkpoint barrel, but that's where it would normally be. And it's a Squawks level. Squawks gets like eight levels all to himself. Rambi gets half of one. We gotta beat Screech, who's pe K. Rule's pet parrot. Apparently. A bit easier in the GBA version, because uh, you don't move as fast. You want the DK coin, that's a bit of a detour. Don't remember where the feather is, so that's also fun. Oh, there it is. I wish the camera cooperated a little more when it came to flying down. <laughs> no! <laughs> Rats! <laughs> That's fine. We have gotten everything on this level. All we have to do now is get to the end. <laughs> Aw, we only killed one of them. Give me my prize. Don't try to cheat me out of my prize. Oh man, that Neki's going flying! Alright. Round two. Also, you gotta beat the best time if you want a photo. Which, obviously, we do. I like how all of, all four of the calm letters are only in the race, even though half the level is out. So, actually, no, the race takes up more than half the level. Even if the checkpoint barrel wants you to believe that this is only half. Okay, I hate how how bad the camera is when it comes to flying down. That's unacceptable. Alright. We don't have much time left. Oh man, that just led to the G. Oh, there we go. Give me my camera. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> Are we gonna grab the other one up on our way out? That would be great. Yes! I mean, it doesn't do anything, but that's that's funny. Alright, there we go. Yay, Diddy finally got to finish a level. Alright, final Funky's Flights mission. And the worst one. Way cool! Pick a flight and you're out of sight! So, dude, think you're a pro pilot now, do ya? Toxic construction! Rebuild the DK Tower, but beware of entering the toxic waste. The gyrocopter will explode with the slightest touch of that green filth. Use the buttons on the walls to lower the, 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 the toxic waste. Then nip in and retrieve the statue parts. Yeah, if you thought the World Free one was bad, it's even worse. Why do all of these stupid Funky's Flights missions involve being like, Oh, you gotta change the water level. Why? Just why? <laughs> I don't. It's not a fun gimmick in any of the levels. <sighs> Gotta love how there's no way of knowing what the proper code is as well. Oh, great. Okay. 
<laughs> Eat it. <laughs> I will find it riveting. Oh, yay. There's Donkey Kong's torso. Oh, look. Just in time for the toxic goo to start moving back up. So we can do it all again. Donkey... Why is it so important that we have a golden statue of Donkey Kong? I just... Just one of those things that makes you think. There you go. Dump it there. Alright. Yes, the Funky Fights 2 missions suck. I fully admit this. But we gotta do it for 100%. And oh my goodness, I just realized if I ever try to do hard mode for Donkey Kong Country free, and... Also, apparently the uh, dragonflies are made of um, nitroglycerin, so don't don't touch them, either. <laughs> Welcome, Super Duper Alex. Welcome to... Well, I mean, you made it, you made it in time that we haven't done the final boss yet. But we just gotta hold out a little bit longer. Oh, no. Am I out of bombs? I'm freaking out of bombs. Are you serious? Uh, stupid nitroglycerin dragonflies. <laughs> Which means I do for that last hero coin and photo. Exactly. At least they have the decency to stay dead. Alright, now, don't... <laughs> we got Donkey Kong's feet! This is what we need. Oh, yay, more bombs. Thank goodness Funky Kong has all of these weapons of mass destruction for us, just to recover a lost Donkey Kong statue. Definitely worth our taxpayer money. This course is just needlessly long. At least the dragonflies don't steal the parts you've already taken, unlike the last construction. That would be a bit too much. Are you serious? Type in the code. Lower the acid. Don't mind that the Donkey Kong's arms have already been dipped in toxic waste. That's perfectly alright. If, if the helicopter touches the toxic waste, it spontaneously combusts. Um, uh, that's not the way to go. Okay. Oh, no. Dude. No. 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 So help me winch if you break. Now we're gonna go back and do the whole Dane thing over again. Thank goodness. Well, I mean, we need the 10 minute time limit, otherwise, this mission would be impossible. Dream. Dream. Okay. Doggone you, stupid acid changer. Okay. Okay, this one's easier to grab! Oh, come on! Really? Darn it. We literally have to do the entire thing again. Ugh. Because it's like, the acid the acid is a living thing, and so as soon as you... As soon as you grab the arm, it knows, and it's like, Oh, let's rise up and kill you. I'm gonna blow up on my way down, aren't I? Okay. 
I also hate how easy it is for the winch to break. <laughs> I'm gonna bring the gyro... I'm gonna bring the gyrocopter back to Funky and he'll be like, What the heck did you do to it? <laughs> Just give me my hero coin. I'm a hero for bringing the Donkey Kong statue back. Also, we still don't know where his head is. Alright. Going down. How did the Donkey Kong statue break up into like five different pieces and then all the end up all the way at the bottom of this toxic waste castle? Seems like this is an intentional thing on Funky Kong's part, especially since it took me all of my skill to rebuild it in the Krem Key. You got some explaining to do, Funky Kong. It's just like how in Gloomy goes, it's like, oh no, I dropped my boombox inside this iceberg. Really deep inside. Can you get it for me? It's like, how the heck did it get inside the iceberg? Don't ask questions. Yay. Oh, yay. We completed the solid gold DK statue. Nice fun! I thought you'd struggle with that mission. I did. Here, take this! I, I blew up, like, five helicopters. <laughs> you guys sure know how to fly my old bird! We blew up five helicopters! Here, take this photo as a token of my appreciation! <laughs> Why, thank you. How gracious of you. Don't, don't, boom. Alright. Alright, folks, for realsies now, it's time for the final confrontation, one of the best final bosses ever, K. Rule Duel. Yeah, K. Roll don't mess around in this one. Also, this is going to be a long fight to do without DK barrels. Why did I think I could hover? Dixie Cone was not my lead cone. Some of the best boss music ever right here. The song is called Crocodile Cacophony, and it's amazing. Normally, DK barrels would pop up every time you, you knock them down. But, not when you're playing rock art mode. Very fun fight, though. Really challenging. Darn it. <laughs> you win this time, K. Rule. Ah, oh, you gotta love the GBA sound effects. That was what I was trying to do on my first time with Diddy Call. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not good. I also like how in Smash Bros, K. Rool learned how to spit his cannonballs back out without blowing himself up in the process. <laughs> Don't worry, DK, we'll cut you down with my ponytail. 
you don't actually have to do that. It would be, it would be cool if you, if you did. Use Dixie's ponytail to cut down DK. <laughs> Shugunk! Those cannonballs he spits out gradually get faster as well, so you have to adjust your reflexes as the day goes on. And by that I mean as the battle goes on. I can talk. Weesh! Yes, very impressive. I'm amazed you can fire cannonballs in a spinning pattern. <laughs> you can tell Marty's multitasking. You're playing Freddy Fish while I'm doing this? Great game. Do not get hit by those, or else you die. <laughs> and by that I mean you freeze and he will rocket boost into you. Wow, K. Roll, how did you become invisible? Then he shoots fireballs, which make you just slow down. Alright, just one more round to go. These are annoying. Oh boy, controls are reversed. And yep! When your controls reverse and then they unreverse in the blink of an eye, you just kind of die. All right, Diddy, it's up to you. I know you're codependent on your girlfriend to survive, but hi, Nintendo addict. You're just in time to watch me send K. Rule flying. All right. Goodbye, K. Rule. Get him, DK. <laughs> DK, why couldn't you do that in the first game? <laughs> Amazing finish, though. And we get this end cutscene now. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Good work, but we have to get off this rusty bucket before it crashes. Quick, Funky's waiting outside. Even though you blew up ten helicopters in this game, it's okay. We have another backup helicopter. <laughs> Donkey Kong punching K. Rule for the windshield is amazing. So I was watching him fall all the way down the world map. <laughs> you cons think you're so clever, don't you? Come to my lair in the Lost World if you think you can really beat me. I knew you'd do it, Diddy, my boy. But how could you fail with having learned all you know from old Cranky here? You've rescued that lazy grandson of mine and dumped K. Rule off his filthy island. Not bad for a novice. Of course, if it I'd been playing, I'd have made sure that K. Rule never tried a cheap trick like this again. I reckon I'd have found all the creme coins and completed the so-called Lost World. Oh well, you can't expect everything from your first game, can we? Cranky, are you implying that you would have just, like, flat-out murdered K. Rule if you were the leader? <laughs> One more thing, how many of my special video game hero coins did you find? A real player, such as myself, would have found plenty, I'm sure. Let's see how well you did, eh? Well, we aren't going to be better than Mario, because you physically can't be better than Mario on your first playthrough. But we're better than Link! Well, I've got a second screen, and it's about time, too. Now shut up, everyone, while I read the eagerly awaited results of the prestigious Video Game Hero Rewards. 
Hey, not bad for a young'un. Of course, you're going to have to find a few more if you want to be as big of a hero as I was. You were the villain in the original Donkey Kong. <laughs> if you want to look at your limited progress on this screen, press the L and R buttons while you're on any of the map screens. Now buzz off and see if you can find some more of my coins, which I very much doubt you will. Cranky Kong. I, I've played this game before. Oh boy, cast of characters. Lazy landlubbers. Neek the rat. Look at his nose bob. That's not how Yoshi... <laughs> Poor Yoshi got kicked off before even getting shown. Yeah. Click, clack. If, if you don't have very many hero coins, then Yoshi will be in third place. Not Samus. Yoshi. Cat-O-9 Tails. Such a weird enemy. Flitter. Flitter's not a landlubber. He's flying. Mini Neki. With their bandanas. Zener. I just want to point out, for those of you who hate bees, those bees are the size of gorillas. <laughs> Screech is barely an enemy. He's just, he's just kind of there. Submerged sea dogs. Yar. Flotsam. Shuri. <laughs> Yeah, gorilla-sized bees, not eager to meet those. Puffed up. Lockjaw and Snapjaw. Snapjaw is one of the few enemies you don't actually get a photo of in the game. Kremlin Cutthroats. Clomp. I, I appreciate the nautical theme, Clomp, but why couldn't we have just had Critter come back? Cleaner! Kaboin! Clamp on. Nom nom nom. Clobber and kaboom. Oh boy. Cutlasses are some of the most threatening enemies in the game. <laughs> Cloaks make the funniest noises. Hey, cannons don't get to run in the game. Is there any difference between blue cruncha and red cruncha? I don't think so. Clank. And by that I mean the, like, pinkish guy. Cackle. Slightly eerie. Oh, hey, Clubba. Still disappointed I don't get to fight you. Barnacled bosses, yeah. Captain Crow. Cleaver. The bosses are more original and fun in this game compared to the first DK Country, I think. Like, half- it feels like half the bosses in DK Country are just kind of repeats. Keen zine. Boop, 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 boop. And then the DK Country free bosses are all kind of creepy in some way. Except for, like, Belcha. Curazine. And ironically, Chaos. Chaos is not really a uh, creepy looking boss. Captain K. Rule. Animal Buddies! On God! Oh yeah, Glimmer, he was on that one level that you didn't really need if you're playing the GBA version and have a backlit screen. But thanks anyway, buddy. You're, I appreciate you in DK Country 64. Clapper. We needed more Rambi in the game. Just want to say, one of the few complaints I have. Squawks. I w Oh my gosh, why aren't we getting a cat as an animal buddy in a G in Donkey Kong Country? That would be amazing. A fat boy cat. I want that. The cones. The big cheese. This is the cone family. All of them. There is definitely not any more. There's definitely not an orangutan with long arms, a big fat guy who can punch stuff, and a baby. Aw. <laughs> I like this end screen here. Like, you can't even see the front of his face, but you can just tell DK is so proud of both of them for rescuing him. Aw. 
Thank you, everybody who programmed this game. It was amazing. One of the standout 2D platformers of all time, I would say. Very difficult, to be sure. But I'd say it's, for the most part, the good kind of difficult. Wow, K. Wood did all of the sprites? Dang. That's really impressive. <laughs> Puffy kitties are great. Especially if they're also plump. Jay Hughes? I thought David Wise did all the music in this game. Oh, your puffy kitty is very bony. <laughs> Healthier that way. Grant Kirkhope did some of the sounds in the game. Oh, awesome. Grant Kirkhope is a legend. <laughs> like, honestly, if he, if he did music for, like, movies, he'd be way more well-known. He's a genius, though. Oh, maybe that was the people who, like, ported the music and sounds from the SNES version. I bet, because I think these are all the SN people worked on the SNES version, so I think David Wise will get mentioned here. Yep, there he is. D. Wise, David Wise. Also a legendary composer. <laughs> Could they have picked a harder-to-read font, though, other than, like, Weendings? I know it's supposed to be, like, the nautical, like, Arr, this be the treasure map font. But it, it's not one that's used very often. Senior Chain! <laughs> the Spanish teacher. <laughs> Who's throwing all this confetti, by the way? Confetti doesn't just happen. It's one of those things that you gotta throw. Wait, is the game over? The main story is over, but the stream is not over, because we still have one bonus level left and one bonus boss left, as well as we have to finish Expresso Racing and get the rest of the DK coins. So hold on to your butts, folks. The stream is not over yet. But I have no way of skipping the credits. Plus, the cones are just watching the sunset. It's beautiful. But we could have also had, like, fireworks. <laughs> Maybe cut back a little bit on the endless amounts of confetti you're throwing and then added some fireworks. <laughs> That's good, Mobius. Oh, Iwata. Rest in peace. He worked on everything, man. 95! SNES version came out the a year before I was born. Alright. Alright. Oh, dog on it. Now we have to punch in the rock art code again. And now we're up to 90%. That's the thing. It don't remember your codes unless you if you ever go back to the main menu. Makes me feel old. Just a bit. I never had a SNES growing up. Alright. Gotta call in Funky's gyrocopter. Back to K Rules Keep. Columbus Kiosk. Oh, one other thing. We never showed off the minigame here. Ah, it is the flea ridden gorillas again. Pay the toll, all you suffer, pop plenty, I promise ye. Let's try a game? So you want to challenge me, do you, mateys? Well, let's see how well you do in me little game. As this is your first time, I'll let you play for free, but after this, it will cost ye five pieces of weight for each attempt. All you needs to do is catch as many fiery bugs as you can before the time is up. The more you catch, the better the prize. Oh, there is one vein, keep on your toes, as I'll be on your tail. Doesn't actually do anything, but I figure, hey, we might as well show it off, since we're here. Ready, set, go. Bag a bug, we just have to grab fireflies. Also, if Clubba beats us up, he takes all our fireflies from us. It's most rude of him. Thankfully, we can hide from him in these alcoves. Um, we can't... Yeah. <laughs> his, his AI is a bit quirky, but we can do it. Ooh, we got ten bugs already. Oh, hey, invincibility! Okay, I don't know how long that lasts, so... 
Oh no, the bot is following me! Ah, so is Clubba! That would have been great if it's like, Clubba is following you on Twitch. <laughs> ah! What the- Okay, the more bugs you have, the faster he gets. Without a doubt. Doggone, I had 20! I remember that often happening when you play this game. Like, you do really well, then Clubba hits you at the end, and then it's like, Oh, you got nothing left. You scurvy dogs, take this as your reward. Oh boy! I can eat at McDonald's for a week with that. Didn't even get an extra life. Alright, Clubba. Splice the main brace! Over here, cones, the Kremlin Lost World awaits ye. Five burners, you gotcha. <laughs> All right, first up, Cranky Sun with last espresso raising. You can't keep away, can you? Here, take this picture of me. You can look at it when you're feeling a bit lonely. Have you been to see the other members of the Cone family? They're not as useful as me, of course, but they might be able to help. Gaze and eyes, you appreciate my knowledge. All right. We're almost maxed out, but honestly, getting an extra point in flight will do nothing. We have Embassy, Misty, the Pokemon trainer, Minogue, whoever the heck that is, but most importantly, we have Expresso. Herp -a derp derp derp. It's Expresso Racing. I remember this this Expresso Racing being kind of tough, because when everybody's maxed out at stats, nobody is. Also. For some reason, even though my strength is capped, and theirs is too, they're the ones who can push me around. Wait, when did I get ahead of blue and red? That don't add up. Or are they so far ahead that they're about to lap? No, it can't be. Of course it's too long. That's the problem. If one of the... No, they're... I think they're all ahead of me. Just really far ahead of me. Because, yeah, then it just said blue fell out behind. Actually, maybe not. Did blue just... Did blue just vaporize and go back in time? I am very confused. Maybe blue fell off a cliff? I don't know. I'll take it. Okay, yeah, blue fell off a cliff. I guess Blue fell off a cliff? Okay. Finished first place. Oh, he, he fell off the log bridge like a goofus. Alright, first try in the Lost World race. That's nice. And that's the last trophy. First place! Well done! You've won all the races. Here, take this hero coin. It's my last one. I would have done it much quicker, though. And without losing espresso. Here, take this picture of your champion racing bird. Just two photos left. Alright, time for the last bonus level and the hardest level in the whole game, Animal Antics. Oh boy, this is going to be tough, especially without calm barrels or checkpoints. So first off, we get to start as Rambi, which is yay! Rambi makes everything better. Unfortunately, we don't play as Rambi for nearly long enough. So now we're in this ice world, and now we actually have to dodge cannonballs. And now we become Express- Expresso! We can become On Guard. That's his name, Artie. And this, honestly... This can be a little tricky if you take it too fast. As long as you take it slow, the on guard part is pretty easy. If you don't take it slow, well, you're probably gonna lose a uh, calm. All right, there we go. That's the on guard part done. Now we become our old buddy, Squitter the Spider. And this part's actually really easy. We can literally just. 
go over everything. Why do things the hard way when the easy way is so much easier? There we go. Avoid that barrel, because if you go back here... Bonus barrel! Last bonus barrel of the game. Destroy them all! Oh look, we're back in the Bramble stage for literally no reason! Bonus... The guys who designed the bonus barrels were just like, The Bramble tile set is the most beautiful of tile sets! <laughs> now we get to become Squawks to finish the job. But then, we become Squitter again for no real reason. There we go! Another hero coin. And now we get blasted upwards into, yep, you guessed it, another Bramble level. And yeah, you see those leaves in the background? That means bad times ahead. <laughs> Dark times ahead! <sighs> yep, this is where the level earns its title of the hardest level in the game. Because, uh, yep, there's wind. The wind is different on this level compared to the other levels, though. Because instead of being determined based on your position, it'll just change direction every couple of seconds. Which means, once once you get the timing of the wind down, it's actually not as bad, but it's still annoying. Uh oh, missed the O somewhere. Probably in the squitter section when I went over everything. One of the last cameras in the game is over this way. Let's grab it. Yep. So honestly, I've again I've just kind of found if you take it slow, it's not too bad. But believe me when I say the wind is gonna catch you dying many times on your first playthrough. Often for times like this, instead of fighting the wind, I just wait for the wind to change direction and then carry me. Especially for parts like this. It's like, yeah, I'm not gonna fight against the wind and try to get around those red zeners. I'll just wait for the wind to change. Makes it much less stressful. Can't believe it didn't die there, I'll be honest. No! What? I, I made it for the squawks part first try, and then Rattley's just like, Yoink! <laughs> Gonna die! <laughs> Herp -a -derp. <laughs> but it's okay, because I got free lives, even though I was maxed out on lives, and then lost a life afterwards. No one breaks their leg like Gaston. Exactly. Such a fitting use of that alert. <laughs> Maybe I'll actually show off the squitter part this time instead of just going over it. Oh, that's... Yep. And that's what happens if you try going for the on guard part too quickly. <laughs> that's exactly what happens. Darn it. It would have been so cool to one-shot animal antics, but nope, that ain't happening. I also do consider... The last part of the level is not trivial, either. It's definitely easier than Squawks in the Wind, but it's definitely harder than the other parts. Okay, if I had gotten hit by Ram as Rambi, that would have been how so embarrassing. Alright. That was too close. That starfish is still trying to kill me. Dane, he don't let up. Uh, 
All right. <laughs> now we'll actually show off what Squitter's part actually entails. It's actually pretty easy to do, even if you do go on the ground. I bet the O is down there somewhere. I ain't grabbing it. Or maybe the O is in the on guard part somewhere. That's also possible. Oh, come on! He was off screen. I like the staircases you can make with Squitter, though. Alright. Just gotta do this part perfectly. It's easy. Well, no, it's not. That's an absolute lie. It's not as hard as people often make it out to be, or make it for themselves. Oh, what? He went farther than I thought. Darn it. Doesn't help that I'm the one person in the whole world who doesn't like the Solon Sticker Brush Symphony. Rock Hard Mode is training for Diddy's Dash. Kind of. Diddy's Dash is no joke. The difference is Rock Hard, you have no checkpoints, and Diddy's Dash, you have all the checkpoints. <laughs> But also, on Diddy's Dash, you only have Diddy. Meh! <laughs> Alright, maybe the O is down here. Oh yeah, I think the O is actually up above that. Maybe not. No. How strange. Where is that O, then? I, I just do know. If you want to beat Cranky's Times, you'll need to avoid dying. True. Well, Cranky's Times are just five minutes for every level. It's actually not too difficult. Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you, camera. Oh, once you beat the five minute for each level, the expert time? What? I never knew that. <clears throat> I did not know that. I didn't play Diddy's Dash that much. Probably because I'm like, I'm not doing the speedruns for any of the Bramble levels. That sounds like a dreadful use of my time. Well. <sighs> Guess it's just my destiny to have to go for the squawk section with one calm. <clears throat> oh, really? I'm pretty sure I was out of reach of him, but... Guess not. Yep, you guys are getting a longer than usual stream tonight. But it's, that's okay, because you know what? I don't have work tomorrow. So I can go for later. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Cranky's like, I got a 20-second time on Pirate Panic, and I didn't even use the warp barrel. And now that we've played Tropical Freeze, we know why. It's because Cranky Cone is like the speedrunning cone. 
because he can carry all of his, like, momentum really easily with his beard bounce. Tropical Freeze was really fun, by the way. Like, I was really surprised at how good it was. Because, like, when it was first announced, it was basically... From what I gathered, I'm like, oh, it's Donkey Kong Country Returns, but water levels are back. I'm like, I don't like the water levels that much. It doesn't sound that great. Oh, it, it was amazing. I don't think it's as good as the first or second game, but... I liked it more than three in Returns. Granted, I also had the Wii version of Returns, which I've heard was very much worse than the 3DS version. But I also got Returns, like, as soon as it came out. I didn't wait for the 3DS port. Alright. Okay, that's weird. Sometimes there's a Neki up there, and sometimes there's not. Oh my gosh, I got both cones for this part now. Frabjuous Day. I wish you could... I wish you could just, like, hang out on the bottom of the Brambles like you can if Squawks is, like, carrying Diddy and Dixie. But if Squawks is by himself, then he can't do that. And it makes the Bramble levels even more difficult. That's okay. Alright. I should not have done that. I should have wait waited for the wind to change. Just like Mary Poppins. Okay. There we go. Alright, last part of the level. Now, unfortunately, we have to go this way to get the feather. Darn it! That's not very fair. Alright. Yeah! Take that, animal antics! And, of course, Dixie was the one to finish it. <laughs> Alright. Every creme coin. Now. You know what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. I love it, too. Before we take on the final boss, two things we have to do. First, we go into Kong College. Because we've done plenty of work for the homework assignment. Ooh, look at the background there. Remember to save your game as often as possible. Check my homework. Well done, children. You have filled 14 pages. Here's your reward. Excellent. You are straight A students. You have filled nearly every page. Here, take this photo of me to complete your collection. Why are all these bots following me? I don't like it. All right, last photo, and last... Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna have to go through and ban some of these people. Be careful now, cons. Now, let's take a, just a nice little look at our scrapbook. Photos of all of the enemies in the game. I like the photo album. I especially liked it in this one. In the first game, it was very rough, and it was very hard to find all the photos. In this, they did a much better job with it, because you could get help from Wrinkly. Oh yeah, and there's also Diddy and Dixie and all the Cone family as well. Uh, 
And there we go. All right. Now. <laughs> One other thing that I'm going to do. We don't have to do this. I'm going to give that last Golden Feather to Expresso. Even though it does nothing and we've already done Expresso Racing. It's just the OCD within me. I need to do it. <laughs> Bots seem to be following and then dipping out. Alright, fine. As long as they don't try it. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, good. I don't want to help you too much. I just have one fight left, buddy. It's okay. Also, the bonus boss in The Lost World is actually kind of a lot easier than he is the final boss is. If you're getting into any trouble, Club of Ear will help you out. Will you help me take out the final boss? Nay! Ahoy there, me monkey mateys! Fare ye well on this fine day. Club seems like a swell guy. Alright. Final boss in Crocodile Core. This is literally just a battle of attrition. We just have to outlast him. All right. Easy. First try. Yeah, you just have to hit him once and he's gone. I can't believe my eyes. Once again, you've beaten that lizard-faced freak. DK is back with us and the world is safe once again. Woohoo! DK goes back to drinking his smoothie. I'll get you yet, you stupid monkeys! Next time, there will be no stopping me! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen, dude! Bombs away! Blast you pesky apes! I'll get you next time! Dang, Funky just murdered K. Rule. And we literally destroyed his island and everybody on it. That's intense. <laughs> Alright, we beat hard mode. Excellent. And not only that, we, we beat everything in hard mode. Aw, no new title screen. That's okay. I guess one other thing I can show off. One of my favorite cheats. One time, we get the sound test of the game, which is cool. Also, one thing that's interesting here. Run, Rambi, Run is here in the music player. Never actually plays in the game. But they did they did actually make a GBA port of it. I'm not sure whether it was just a programming error that they played the Bad Bird Rag there instead, but eh. Jay, thank you for gifting a sub to Proxima! That was very kind of you. I really appreciate it. Proxima, enjoy your gold banana as well as your new emote. Wow, Jay, thank you for giving us up to Mobius as well. Dane, it's banana storm. Oh, man. Now you both get to enjoy these rad new emotes. I you might only actually have the putt-putt one, but that's okay. It's the best one. So, Jay, your generosity is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And, it, yeah, it was great having you all on board for this uh, stream series. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the Donkey Kong Country series. Now, tomorrow, 
I will be streaming again, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be doing another Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Stream. That might be the last Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Stream I do. We have to see how much I do, but honestly, we're, the missions are starting to get annoying in that game. As for what I do after that, one thing I want to do again is I want to do another season of Backyard Baseball. It's been a while, and boats are really popular, so that'll either happen this coming week, or maybe I'll do a week of, like, I play randomizers in preparation for it, but that's going to be coming, and it's always... Those are my favorite streams to do, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Those are always a bunch of fun. And once Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, once those streams finish, I'll probably go... I might go back to Grisea, because that got a couple votes in. I'm interested to try Michiru's route, so look forward to those in the future. All right, we're out of time for the stream today, though. Thank you all for joining in. This was tons of fun. It's great having people in chat intera to interact with. It's always a bunch of fun. And I'm glad you guys all got to enjoy Donkey Kong Country 2 with me in the hard mode campaign that it is. <laughs> always a lot of fun. Always a pleasure to have you guys here. I'm going to sign out now. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, a great weekend, and God bless.